Hi, this is Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I'm here to share a handmade card that I made. I made a five and a half inch square card, and my card base is a white cardstock, smooth cardstock. And on the front here, I was able to use the beautiful Graphic 45 paper collection. This pattern paper here is from the Sweet Sentiments collection. This is a beautiful collection. If you've not seen it, I'll flip through it quickly. They have the cut aparts that you expect with Graphic 45. And what I like about Graphic 45's paper collection is all their collections seem to match. So for the base of my card, this blue piece in the back here, I pulled out a piece from the Home Sweet Home 6x6 collection. So I like that they coordinate together. And of course there's the Home Sweet Home in the 8x8. This is a cute collection that's just come out. They also have this in the 12 by 12 and they also come with the templates, the gift tags and the pillow box in the back for you to trace out and use as well. So I love Graphic 45 for that. And on the front here, I distressed the edges in Tim Holtz Broken China Distress Ink. I also went around with my scissors and distressed them. I do have a start to finish on this if you're interested. I'll play the video for you. Um, I rolled back some of the edges by first cutting them and then wetting them with a little bit of water. And it just helps to break up the fiber so you can roll the paper back a little. I added some lace trim behind each part that I cut. And I also added that same lace trim across the front here. I got this from Walmart. I added some flat back pearls to the front. I also added a Kaisercraft die, which I believe has been discontinued. And I made some handmade flowers here. I used the Heartfelt Creations Ariana Bloom set. You've probably seen me use this set quite a few times. This is my favorite set, and they do come with stamens as well that you can cut out. They also come with a stamp that matches this. So I like using this and then along with my deluxe flower shaping kit, it's easy to shape the flowers using this die. So it really makes it super quick. They come with different nibs and this one is the 12 millimeter. I use this one a lot and they just pop in, they're magnet magnetic. So they just pop into the side here and interchangeable. You can change them out as you need. They also come with a paper piercer and a flower curler or petal curler. So between this and the dies and also the stamp, if you choose to use the stamp, it really makes it easy to make your own flowers. So I made a large flower here and a small flower. I added a couple tiny flowers or three tiny flowers from my stash along with some leaves. And there's a little bit of cheesecloth in the back there. On the front here, my sentiment, it says, Dream the Impossible. This is a beautiful stamp. This die cut here is from the Labels 40s dies from Spellbinders. I use the smallest one. This to me is a must-have in your stash. I love this. I, I um, reach for these more often than not. And they make for great sentiments. So I just stamped this beautiful Just Right stamp. They have some beautiful, beautiful sentiments along with these feathers on there. So I chose the Dream the Impossible. I first cut this out from some lightweight chipboard and then I added a piece of the collection on top. And I did that on the inside as well. I used a um, the next size up, I believe it is, or maybe two sizes up from the Labels 40 die. And I stamped out Imagine the Possibilities along with this stamp. And I used some VersaFine black ink to do so. So check out Cut It Home's blog. All this product information will be linked there along in the description box as well. And if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish, then um, enjoy. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.